धनक टेलीविजन के हमारे सभी व्यूअर्स को प्रीत साही का नमस्कार सत श्रीकाल असलम आज हम आपकी मुलाकात करवा रहे हैं एक बहुत ही जानी मानी प्रसिद्ध हस्ती से जिन्हें स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड में हम गुरु माँ के नाम से जानते हैं सबसे पहले तो हम आपको हमारे धनक टेलीविजन में वेलकम करना चाहेंगे हमारा गुड फॉर्च्यून कि आप हमारे प्रोग्राम में आए थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर दैट एंड लेट मी मेक ऑल ऑफ आवर लिसनर्स एंड वॉचर्स अवेयर आई एम श्योर मोस्ट ऑफ अस आर अवेयर बट फॉर दोज हु जस्ट इन केस आर नॉट गुरु मास प्रोग्राम कम्स ऑन सोनी टी वी एवरी मॉर्निंग एट सेवन ए एम मंडे थ्रू फ्राइडे someone who has been guiding people from all walks of life since the tender age of 13 with massive capabilities intense spirituality and we feel very fortunate once again to have guruma in our show guruma sabse pehle hum aapse ashram ke bare mein thoda sa puchna chahenge um at ganor in sonipat um guruma has an ashram with immense spirituality and we'd like to start with a little info on that yeah well this uh this place is uh very close to delhi and the main objective to to make this place was just one that to construct a point where people from all sects all religion uh can come there you know after breaking their old boundaries the so called religious cultural countries language boundaries and be there for just one objective one to learn uh, the art of living so the art of living may meaning that we breathe we eat we sleep yeah we make babies but we die but still we are not living you know uh, even after doing all this stuff maybe we still didn't know how to live well how to will right i would say so the ashram gives an opportunity to be with me to learn from me and to meditate with me with me that that's the whole objective so in other words this is not a separate religion in its no it is not a separate religion and let me just uh, uh, clarify this uh, i i believe the sects can be different but religion is always one and that's truth so the expressions vary from culture to culture from uh, you know the geographical variations does the language variations does the ex- expressions are going to change and plus every individual is unique in their own way so whosoever went into the depths when came out gave his or her version and expression thus from there you know we see so many different colors and and flavors but i believe this is what i believe religions aren't too many religion is just one because the existence is one the only difference is of the expression so uh, in a way i can say this ashram is trying to work to bring out that universality you know to bring out that uh, uniformity to get individual know and understand just not on the intellectual level but through the direct encounter with the truth yeah that's the whole objective so much so for religion i am not for that and if you permit i w- i would call myself a non religious person <laughs> now i know it's going to be hard to digest what i'm saying but this is what i feel this is what i feel so i would i would rather use the word spirituality than the religion and religion for me is different expression and different way reaching to the one same goal guru ma apne intellectual level ki baat ki अक्सर ऐसा होता है कि वन फ्रॉम देयर ओन इंटेलेक्चुअल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू माइट बी थिंकिंग कि वो एक सर्टन तरीके से भक्ति कर रहे हैं वो ही राइट तरीका है येट इट माइट नॉट बी द राइट वे तो हर एक का इंटेलेक्चुअल लेवल अलग अलग होता है एक कॉमन एवरेज इंसान 
खुद से कि मैं ऑनेस्ट हूँ मैं सच बोलता हूँ मैं किसी का दिल नहीं दिखाता सो आई एम द मोस्ट रिलीजियस पर्सन इन द वर्ल्ड हर एक इंटेलेक्चुअल लेवल डिफरेंट होती है वट इज़ दैट यू नो मेन मीडियम जहाँ पर आके भक्ति राइट हो जाती है रिगार्डलेस इन रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ वन इंटेलेक्चुअल लेवल well uh, two things are there one you talked about the intellectual level i believe that uh, the intellect doesn't knows on its own what's right and what's wrong it's always what it has been conditioned to believe right so in one culture it might be right but the same thing on the religious basis might be wrong for the another person uh, in their in their own religion uh again intellectually when we speak every person has their own point of view their own perspective so it may differ and it is different it is different um that's the reason that our eastern uh, philosophy believes in being with someone who has realized the truths not just on the intellectual levels not just from the books and the scriptures going more deeper into that you know going more deeper into that and thus the importance of the sadguru or the murshid comes there the true master because it is only with the true master you are able to live and breathe the truth not just listen about the truth you know knowing about something is one thing and getting feel of that thing is another thing and encountering and making it your own personal experiences and all together different thing right from the the sufis of islam to the seers and sages of the hindus to the bhaktas of the the bhakti movement which happened in 1400s 1500s and 1600 and and to the contemporary masters i would speak of today also ancient or today doesn't makes a difference all of them have been trying to um, pass on the message the importance of the master see you have to have a guide even to cook food to drive maybe even to talk you, you go for the etiquette lessons right to walk all models go for that you know how to do that catwalk the ramp walk you know they are going to to someone who can teach them so same goes that the moment we talk about spirituality or meditation the deeper you know ways and methods for this required to be learned you have to have a guide so once you have that person who is not just imparting the bookish information to you but the one who is sharing what that person had gone through the whole process right from the beginning to that point where ultimately is there so the importance of the the murshid or the sadguru is uh, i think so the the most important thing maybe to start the journey you have to have that without which you have not even started the second thing which you said about being good doing good well that is more concerned about the morality and morality is different from spirituality and spirituality is different from religion so there's three level so i can be very good i am doing good i serve others i speak well i don't hurt anyone i don't speak a lie and yet i can be in a non spiritual person very true right so being good is for the society level it's a very good thing we need morality you know for the society to move on for the society to survive for you know we don't we don't want law le- law less kind of surroundings uh, around us we don't want crime around no one wants that so that morality individual and the family and our neighborhoods and our cities and our country and then the whole is everyone wants so morality more on the social basis the moment we move to spirituality it's more of an in progress so i can be a very non spiritual i can um morality based living person